Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Anchor Star Wealth a Morning Show. We have three exciting topics for you this morning. First of all, if you've seen, if you turn on the TV at all on any channel, you've probably seen the uh, shakeup at Starbucks. They've got a you know out with the old, in with the new, new CEO. He comes from Chipotle. Mike's going to kind of show you what uh, winning CEO uh, performance looks like and maybe why uh, the, they made this change. And he'll also show you how the stocks are reacting. It's kind of eye watering move for both stocks. Uh, but I'll let Mike kind of break that back for you. Then Mike's going to talk about the PPI, which uh, came out this morning, which is the producer price index it's it's a lesser known version of inflation uh but you know it's also very important because it, it is, does get baked into the overall inflation picture and how that might affect the fed mike will give you his comments there then i will conclude on another inflation based topic and that's the cola for 2025 uh there i've got an article from newsweek that's great it breaks down the um formula kind of the history of it what goes into it all that stuff if you care if you don't just skip right to the end and i will tell you what that range is going to be it's really close so it's pretty dialed in before we get started this financial education presentation you have to do your own due diligence for acting upon anything you hear in this presentation more disclaimer information is available at anchorstarwealth.com new opinions expressed or mike or mine alone mike over to you what's going on at starbucks okay now when you see CEO salaries out there, and a lot of times we'll see, you know, 10, 50 million dollars, they get stock options, make 100, 200 million. You say, that's absolutely crazy money to be the CEO of a company. But let me show you the effect on the stock price and the overall value of a company when someone takes over the CEO reigns that does fantastic. Steve gave an example the other day of Disney as being a great horse with not a great jockey. And I'm not saying that much about Starbucks, but their CEO who just was, they're going to use the word replaced, but we'll call that mm -hmm. fired and, and replaced. <laughs> you're going to see the effect that the new CEO has on that stock. And this is just amazing. So uh, Lax, his name's Laxman Narissahan. He was handpicked a few years ago, March of 2023. So he's been in there all of a year and a half. And meanwhile, the stock has went down 20%. They hired Chipotle's Brian Nicole. And look at this. The stock is up 23% today. That is the equivalent Crazy. of $20 billion of value. So... I don't know what his salary package is yet. Hopefully he took options on Starbucks at the price closing <laughs> yesterday because he just became very wealthy with that move. Um, but, you know, it, it, just an incredible difference. And when you look at these two CEOs, and, and, and I get it, it's not all the CEO, but it's, they're the ones that get held responsible. Um, the Starbucks CEO, during his year and a half, Star, uh, Starbucks was down 21% which eh, that's not very good. But what's really impressive is Nicole as Chipotle CEO since 2018, up 773%. So that's basically seven times your money uh, in whatever that is, six years for a place that serves, uh, you know, we know what they serve, burritos and burrito bowls and all that. Incredible. So let's look at Starbucks stock. Now, this is what Starbucks stock has done the last five years. Basically, we'll call it flat. It's had its ups and downs, but it was certainly on the downside there until today's jump, and it got it up to $94 a share. You know, not very impressive. Let's, let's look at Chipotle stock. This is a graph of their stock since 2018 when uh, Nicole took over. Now, it's down today because he left, but overall, just a great graph. Um, Starbucks itself, the company is worth just a little bit more than Chipotle. It's worth about a hundred billion versus Chipotle's in the sixties, but that's the impress. Uh, I mean, that's the part of bringing on the new jockey to take over. When I think of these, these two companies, especially Starbucks, I mean, they're basically printing money. I mean, they're, they're passing out drinks that can't cost, but 50 cents <laughs> to make and selling them for $6. So, uh, you know, I don't know how that company just doesn't blow away everyone with dividends and paying back the shareholders. But um, I, guess, I guess, Nicole, we're going to see what he does with that. So very interesting. Uh, another uh, other topic I wanted to cover, which is called the, the PPI, Producer Price Index. 
and the definition, a measure of the average change in prices domestic producers receive for their outputs. So basically this is wholesaler prices. And, you know, this is, a, we, we hear much more about what the consumer pays, which is important. And that's what we'll hear tomorrow and Friday, I think, you know, we'll hear that. But this is just a, a, another indicator of inflation. So what happened today, it only rose 0.1% in July, which is less than expected. It's up 2.2% overall uh, year over year. So one more thing, another data point for the Fed to make their decision on when they decide to cut interest rates from a restrictive policy. When inflation's flying high, they can't do that. And we're starting to get more indications like inflation's under control. It's, it's rising where they expect it to be, which will allow them to hopefully begin this, that easing process for business. With that, I'll turn it back over to you, Steve. All right. Thanks, Mike. Interesting stuff. And then, of course, uh, you know, back to Starbucks. And that, that that is insane how they could have not done well for so long. I remember when the, the Starbucks explosion happened, we were in Starbucks pretty big. And you're right. I mean, you could stand there and you could be in line at one Starbucks and look across the street and see it gauge the line at the other Starbucks, you know, the uh, highly addictive product. And there's people standing in line to get it. It's like, you know, how, how could you mess that up? Well, uh, maybe there will be NBA case studies on uh, the CEO that just got replaced there. But switching topics to uh, and we talked inflation. Let's talk more inflation stuff. I'm going to share out my screen. The 2025 COLA, the great Newsweek article. I'll let you uh, read it on your own. I've got it down here at the bottom, though, that talks about the prediction uh, for 2025. This article has the formula, all the stuff that's baked into the formula, who gets to make the call, all that. Uh, check it out on your own. But the bottom line in blue there is 2.6 to 2.9 percent is the ulti is going to be the increase. It's going to be somewhere in that range. Um, now, you know, let's look back at this chart. Uh, what, well, didn't we just get a big one? Well, that was the year before last. We got the 8 percent plus one. Then before that, in 2022, we got 5 percent um, plus on those two. So really, uh, it, it's taken off pretty well. And then last year's was uh, you know 3.2 percent, which seemed muted with uh, all of the inflation that's going on. So for seniors and those of us that that you know have military retirement, which is tied to COLA as well, um, it's never really, this isn't really intended to keep pace with inflation. So you're always going to find just a little bit, uh, but you would certainly be buried if you had a, a pension that was not adjusted to this, right? It just gets inflated away over the you know, 20, 30, 40 years you may be receiving this thing. So it's good news that uh, you know the, uh, they're, they're getting a nice increase. Uh, the chart here says for a single person, that's about 50 bucks. For a married couple, it's about 100 bucks. So not going to do much for your uh, Chipotle or Starbucks bill. Uh, but I figure most of us, uh, like myself, uh, we get stuff from Costco and cook at home far more than the younger generation, which needs their Starbucks and eats out all the time, right? So a lot cheaper lifestyle being, being a little bit older. So, all right, that's all we have for you today. Thank you so much for listening in, and we will be back with you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye.